Right, getting ready to uh, put the clutch cover on, uh, which simply screws on with three uh, Allen, Allen screws. And there's an oil seal that goes in the middle. And this isn't really an oil seal, it's a dust seal, because we've got the clutch that runs in here. And all this is for is to keep any dust and muck out because behind here is the gearbox sprocket with all the grease and that. So, but but it's dry, there's no actual oil there. So this is really like a dust oil, sort of um, dirt seal. So we, we put it in with the spring side facing outwards to stop all the dust and horrible stuff getting in into the clutch housing. Right, so now I'm getting ready to actually fit the uh, uh, the clutch housing uh, to the engine and it's very very simple it just goes on with three uh, three allen screws uh, only things to note are I realized last time I did this that it's possibly easier to fit the starter motor first and then put the whole lot on as one because there's a couple of bolts that are hard to get to I think it's this one it's a I think it's an allen screw that one and she's like underneath the starter motor um, and you need it's difficult to get to but you know I know I can get to it but I realized last time I did this you can actually bolt the whole thing on with easy access and then put the whole thing on together but you know I don't have to do that so I'm not going to do it um, so it literally just uh, goes on here and uh, one other thing I forgot to mention was that I didn't change the, the this gearbox sprocket which I really shocked at because the trouble with the gearbox sprocket on these bikes is it's behind the primary chain case, then behind the clutch. So to change it is a bit of a nightmare. So nine times out of ten, when I take these apart, that sprocket is pretty knackered basically because you know you can't see it, you don't know how worn it is, and it's such a hassle to change it. So people change their chain, they might change the rear sprocket on the rear wheel, but they seldom actually change the sprocket on, on the front here on the gearbox. So I'm amazed that this sprocket seems to be in a pretty, uh, pretty very good condition. So we're not changing it, uh, <laughs> which you know, considering the rest of the engine has obviously had such a hard life that I'm pretty shocked at. But there we go. Right. So uh, this literally uh, just sits on. There we go. And then we've got the three Allen screws, which are all the same length, and they just screw in. Right, there we go. And that's basically the uh, housing fitted. It literally just sits on. There's no oil in it because it holds the clutch, which is dry. So it is literally just a casing to protect the clutch. So I wish that all the casings went on as easy as that, but uh, you can't have everything. I'll just check the tension manually. Yeah, because I put it on with my impact driver on low. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then we come to fit the clutch hub, and this is the clutch hub, and uh, it's very easy to fit if you've got the right gear, very hard to fit without. So there's a keyway here, and I've fitted a new key, recommended really to fit a new key, because they do take a huge amount of force, and if, uh, and if they're at all worn and there's any play, they can snap. So then the clutch hub simply slides on, it's got a keyway in it and that obviously goes over the key and then we've got the actual clutch hub nut and this is the clutch hub nut and it needs tightening up to 60 uh, foot pounds uh, the problem with it is that there's there can't be any lock uh, locking on it because there's nothing for it to lock onto so you need to make sure it's got some good loctite on it and it's done up to a nice 60 foot pounds. The problem with this is how to lock it 
to enable us to uh, to tighten it up because the gearbox is all complete the engine is not connected so you need to be able to lock this hub and stop it turning whilst uh, we tighten this nut up and how do we do that well the easiest way we do that is to have this proprietary clutch hub locking tool which simply goes on the splines and then it will lock against the uh, um, oil pump shaft oil pump the uh, idler shaft and that will lock the engine or lock the clutch hub for us and so we can tighten that that uh, nut up but with this tool it's very very easy without that tool it's a total and utter pain as you can imagine, just trying to lock, you know, trying to stop that from spinning. The only thing you can do is again put it in gear, lock, try and lock the the uh, sprocket again. But that's uh, you know it's not easy. Right, I've probably got the camera in the wrong place. I'll see if I can re reach around the camera. Blimey. go and there we go clutch hub on clutch hub nut on and all nicely tightened up easy if you've got the proper tool yeah people always say to me well you know you don't need to buy that you can make one yes you can make one you can use an old uh, an old clutch friction plate which has got the center or you can use one of the mini I think will fit so you can make one up or you can just buy one whatever but so much easier if you've got this locking tool